This video was made possible through the support of my patrons. Now the reason I'm doing this, let's just back up and just give a little bit of context first for those of you who may not know, who may not be as uh, an epic hardcore gamer as me, of course. Uh, a couple of days ago, the official Doctor Who Twitter account dropped this tweet with a uh, a low res, shall we say, let's say, let's call it stylized uh, TARDIS, police public call box here, saying coming soon dot 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 with a, an axe emoji or pickaxe emoji. Some people thought Minecraft, some people thought Dreamland 2, we can only of course dream, uh, and many people predicted that it would be Fortnite. And lo and behold, a day later, BBC Studios announced a press release that the Doctor will be landing in, a, in the popular online video game Fortnite. Players will take on new adventures, missions and battles while exploring iconic locations from the Hooniverse, all on a brand new Doctor Who island within the game. It is uh, available from yesterday, at the time of doing this live stream, the 17th of March, and I think it goes away on the 23rd or the 24th of March. I believe this is only a week-long thing. Uh, I've never played Fortnite before in my entire, like, the Dark Prince in chat, the best story yet. Absolutely, that is the case. But you can see that one of the maps in the game is Gallifrey, so I imagine there's maybe some Battle Royale on the plains of Gallifrey. Let's shoot some innocent Shabogans while we're at it. And my theory is that this is in fact how the how Gallifrey was destroyed at the beginning of series 12. It wasn't just the master on his own, he decided to invite all of his friends for an epic battle royale. So I've never played Fortnite before in my I've never played it at all. I don't know anything about it other than it's a battle royale shooter and I've played battle royale shooters in the past. So what we'll do uh as a dummy G fan in chat the Gallifrey Time War map is awesome. Well we'll have to go and discover it and find out for ourselves and I'm going to play Fortnite for the very first time. So I did actually pre-test this as in I opened the game and saw if there was a menu for me to input the map code because in order to unlock the Gallifrey Doctor Who thing you have to enter an island code uh, so I wanted to check that there was a thing there first uh, but no it actually opens with gameplay so then I, uh, I got rid of it I, I turned it off restarted it and we'll go through it together until the point where we can input this code okay Aiden Woodhead asks you downloaded the mod I, I don't know the terminology for it apparently according to this at the very bottom of this uh, disclaimer here, this is not sponsored, endorsed, or administered by Epic Games Inc. However, they do have the trademarks and copyrights for Doctor Who, TARDIS, Dalek, Cybermen, and K9. Uh, the logos and the trademarks from the British Broadcasting Corporation. So the credentials seem official, but apparently this is not something officially done or endorsed by Epic Games. So I don't know what the actual authenticity of this is, but either way, it was still broadcast and shared for the Doctor Who YouTube channel. Uh, they had a trailer and everything for it. JM97, it was officially made by the BBC using Epic Game Assets. Ah, oh, fair enough. Okay, cool. I don't remember Spider-Man. Oh, no. okay. So this wasn't on when I initially booted up the game. It woke me up on a beach and then I turned the game off. Create island code. That's what we're after. Nice. The code is three, six, one, zero, one, Three, nine, six, four, six, four, six. Here we go. Doctor Who Tidus landing site. 24 max players. Action adventure. Box fight hub. Kablam box fight. Battle on Gallifrey. Escape to Pating and the Doctor Who Museum. So I think I've skipped the tutorial and I'm going into a match completely blind. Okay, right. First things first. Invert. I got to invert the controls. Looks like the reality virus has somehow brought us crashing into this new universe and damaged the TARDIS. You need to gather crystals from around the island to repair it. There might even be a special reward for your troubles. <laughs> TFL, if only Sydney Newman and Verity Lambert could see this, yes. They'd be so proud of what their baby has become. Okay, so let's take a look at these game modes real quick. So, Doctor Who Kablam box fight. Uh, travel to Kablam, exclamation point, on the moon of Kandoka and experience box fighting like never before. Uh, Doctor Who Battle on Gallifrey. Fight for either the Time Lords or the Daleks in an all-out battle on Gallifrey. Like we said, canonically, this is how Gallifrey was destroyed at the beginning of Spyfall. Doctor Who Escape the Pating. The self-destruct sequence has been initiated. Find all ten mechanical parts and escape. And there's also the Doctor Who Museum. 
Uh, visit the, the museum and learn more about the friends and foes of the Doctor featuring the Cybermen, Daleks, Weeping Angels, K-19, and the TARDIS. That says K-19. I hope the museum has a little shop. Okay, folks, what should I do first? And remember, keep in mind, this is literally the first ever... I think they're dead now. Uh, remember, this is the very first time I've ever, ever played Fortnite ever. So... What should I play? Go into the TARDIS? Oh, yeah, let's do that first. Yeah, let's ease ourselves into this. Thank you, LIXN underscore Jack. Can I go in? Oh, ah, I was hoping it would be a seamless thing. Oh, okay, here we go. Right, let's go in the... Oh, no. They do the same trick as the production team. They just put stick a little JPEG inside and hope that no one notices. Okay, let's go in the TARDIS. Oh, here we go. We have interviewed Jamie Magnus Stone before. We do know that this TARDIS set for the 13th Doctor set has been dismantled and that he was able to get a hold of one of those roundels. So I'm going to try and get myself one of these things. Virtually. Oh, no. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. That alarm's gone off. Cannot do that now. Oh, okay. Oh, so I imagine I maybe have to buy stuff. Oh, uh, I have to win stuff in the game. Bring them to the TARDIS. And then I get that spray paint. I think that's one of the prizes that you can get. Nice. Now, honestly, I'm pretty surprised when they first were teasing that this could be a Fortnite thing. I thought, okay, cool. Uh, Doctor Who and Fortnite. But they'll use the logo and some stuff. But I imagine most of it will be like David Tennant era stuff. But I'm kind of amazed at how front and center the current era is. That is the incumbent Doctor's TARDIS. And that's the current logo. We've got, of all things, a level set on Kablam, we've got the Pating, we've got Gallifrey, which obviously is not just specific to this era, but it still seamlessly ties in for the most part. So yeah, I'm kind of glad that it was um, something that celebrated the current run of the show as opposed to, let's say like Time Lord Victorious or a lot of the comics range, which just dives further and further into the past. Let's go to the museum. Let's check out the little shop. Okay, let's have a look. The Doctor and Friends, Doctor's Foes. Okay, created by Quantum Builds for Doctor Who, museum designed by right, Black Widow. Um, you, <laughs> what are you doing in the Doctor Who Museum, Scarlett Johansson? Uh, yeah, cool, let's take a look. So that's, that's the map again. That's the TARDIS. Okay, cool, let's take a look at the museum. Let's go through the Doctor and Friends. Uh, Fez and Mop. Learn more. The Doctor is known to have often worn a type of hat known as a fez and also to have sometimes wielded a mop. Both object, like one time, <laughs> one time, both objects originating from planet Earth. The Doctor once stated that he cannot actually wear all of the fezes in his possession because some of them were presents from Tommy. Ah, oh, nice. I got that's a cool reference. Evan, I'll beat that's me. What, you're Scarlett Johansson? Is that you? Um, the archaeologist and time traveler. There's spot, okay, there's a lot of typos in this. There's K19. River Song is a time traveler. Uh, kept this diary of her encounters with the Doctor. The cover is blue, believed to be intentionally to resemble the exterior of the Doctor's TARDIS. Let's take, here's the K-19 I've heard so much about. Ah, oh, I can actually go onto the plinth. Oh, I can ride K-9. Away, young, young squire. Go. Nay. Yes, I'm on the screwdriver. I don't know where the screw. Oh, you're on the screwdriver. Ever, ever now. Hello, you're in the chat and you're there. Yeah, ever now. Hello. That is the only dance I've got. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I approve. Thank you, Evanow. Thank you for joining. Anyway, I'm just going to... Sorry, Evanow. I'm going to make my way through the museum, but it was fun to see you. Thank you. Hello. Uh, Rory's sword. Let's have a look. This is the sword of the much celebrated historical figure and husband of one Amy Pond. Roy Williams initially merely a human associate of the Doctor. Roy later became a hero after taking the form of an Auton duplicate who then became known as the last, the legendary last centurion. Uh, the timey wimey detector from Blink. There's some pretty cool cuts. It's not like the most obvious stuff as well. Now that is a, is the implication here? Because everything else here was basically to scale. Like, that's Rory's sword, normally. That's the size of the timey-wimey detector. But here, the sonic screwdriver is just massive. Is Jodie Whittaker actually 40 feet tall? And, like, everybody else on set has to use, like, forced perspective. Like they did with the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings films. The vase with the 12 sunflowers. Oh, <laughs> so it's, oh, no, it's like an actual museum. Uh, Defrost Robert 77, that K9 is huge. Yeah, it is a bit big. That's, like, depending on how tall my avatar is, it's, like... Four and a half to five feet tall. That is a very big dog. British King Dog, to be honest, the canine prop is limited in what they could do. Oh, no, no, just that, that looks cool. It just looks a bit big, which is not an issue. I'd rather it be 
big so you can make out some detail on it and the buttons and stuff rather than it be too small and you lose stuff that looks cool i'm happy with that look at me i'm, I'm happy with that yes like they need mr titus's approval uh sonic screwdriver this uh, sonic screwdriver is one of the very fine craftsmanship made from materials originated from planet earth its sleek design is crafted from a hardy substance and oh so many typos known kwan as chef field steel combined with an original stenza crystal uh 3d glasses okay we were talking about things being to scale those are definitely not not to scale okay you're missing the heather puddle where's the heather puddle oh of course <laughs> it's just a puddle <laughs> Imagine just being like, okay, I'm just your average Fortnite player. I, I've never watched Doctor Who. Oh, let's check out the museum. Oh, Heather, the puddle. <laughs> okay, that's very funny. Okay, Heather was a human student. She doesn't... What happened? I think the context makes this less interesting. Heather was a human student at Earth's St. Luke University in the 2010s. She befriended and was romantically connected with the doctor's associate, Bill Potts. Heather is said to have gained the ability to travel freely in time and space when she discovered a sentient puddle, which later absorbed her and designated her as its, quote, pilot. Oh my goodness. Imagine that being, like, just that basic description being your introduction to Doctor Who, okay. Handles! Heather and Handles, the best companions. Handles was given, was the name given by the Doctor to the Cyberman head, believed to have been obtained from the Maldivarian market and subsequently repaired. The Doctor is believed to have removed all its organic components and Cyberman protocols, leaving it a docile robot that interpreted commands literally, whether or not they were meant to be taken as such. Handles is said to have been the Doctor's only companion during his first 300 years at the human settlement of Christmas. Uh, yeah, cool. Ah, uh, a Kablam box. Kablam packaging. Uh, this is a Kablam box used by Kablam men to deliver packages across the galaxy. Kablam is a galaxy-wide online shopping service consisting of automated warehouses and a mostly robotic workforce known as teammates. Uh, and the TARDIS here as well. First seen in Season 1, Serial 1, An Unearthly Child. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know if that's right. Hmm. Hmm. The phone doesn't work and the windows are the wrong size. TFS is why I society to reach a point where people are now watching each other play Fortnite. We're not just watching each other play Fortnite. You're watching me just go through a digital museum. Uh, Life-size re replica of the Doctor's TARDIS, also known as a Time World Type 40 capsule. According to some historians, TARDIS is in fact an acronym which stands for time and a relative dimension in space. Known as the Doctor's vehicle of choice of travel across the universe, it is dimensionally transcendental, i.e. it is bigger on the inside than the outside. The TARDIS is said to have been able to once change its exterior appearance to blend in with its surroundings, but it seems that a broken chameleon circus has since because caused it to become stuck in the shape of an earth police box. Oh, is this Gallifrey Falls no more? Excuse me, sir or madam, I am in a museum. Some of us are trying to appreciate the art. The fall of Arcadia, why isn't it in 3D? Asks Micron. I don't have the glasses on. The glasses are over there, but they're in, they're in, exhi they're in exhibit. I can't quite touch them, I'm sorry. This is the least to scale. This is massive compared to what it was in the show. But like I get, like I, like I said, I'm guessing the actors who play the Doctor are secretly 50 feet tall. This is a big space. Oh no, it's invisible walls. It's deceptive. It's not 3D because this is a fake. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my sharpie. I'm gonna go to the back of it and write this as a fake written on the back of it. Let me know in chat if you get that reference. Oh, cool. Doctors and another... Oh, cool. This is the Capaldi and later Matt Smith TARDIS. Now that's cool. It's not just the current TARDIS with the big crystals. Aced on... Oh, so... No one, did no one proofread. I know this is a fan thing, but did no one proofread this? Uh, would you like a jelly baby? Oh, that's cool. The fourth Doctor, this model depicts the fourth incarnation, said to have witnessed the genesis of the Daleks, I said it, and to have printed the death of the, of the universe at Legopolis. This Doctor is remembered by history as an adventurer of truly epic proportions. Records say that he had a gleeful smile, a swashbuckling charm, and strong righteous sense of morality. Sculpted, uh, sculpted by, typos, sculpted by Coelho, hello, aloha. How do I look? Sixth Doctor, nice. 
the 14th Doctor is me. No. Okay, the fact that they've left this plinth blank is this... Are they going to announce the 14th Doctor in Fortnite? Now, you may think this is... No, it's done. They'd never do such a thing. They wouldn't have such a major reveal there. But remember, folks, they had, like, the return of Palpatine revealed in a Fortnite game. Also, there's a 2 minute and 30 second clock on the top right. Do I, Are they going to kick me out of the museum? Okay, right, we've got to be quick. Uh, it's a work in progress, but so is life. Uh, 13th Doctor, 11th Doctor, bow ties are cool. And 10th Doctor, wibbly wobbly timey wimey. This model depicts the 10th incarnation. He's said to have begun his time by fighting the Sycorax above the Earth City of London, even losing a hand in the process. Uh, uh, Travelling, raveling, <laughs> raveling with human friends Rose Tyler, Martha Jones, and Donna Noble. This incarnation encountered many a threat, including Cybermen, Dallas, Weeping Angels, and possibly even the devil itself. Uh, what we got here? Appears in Doctor Who the Day... That, this massive Cyberman appeared in the Day of the Doctor? I don't recall this deleted scene. He's massive! This is Cyber Chad if I've ever seen him. We've had jokes before about Cyber Chad, but I think I've actually encountered my Lord and Saviour. There we go. Dance for my Lord and Saviour. Draw. Okay, I'm going to ready up and we'll go back to the museum. So the Daleks are the mutated remains of the Kaldor people placed in metal machines by the infamous chief scientist Davros. Oh good, I've, according to the timer on the top right, I've got 106 minutes. That's much better. Why are the footsteps so loud? Folks, we are in a museum. The Time Lord, constant sorrow. I don't like that eight ball looking at me. I'm just going to... It's going to... Continue on my day. It's believed to have first encountered the Daleks on the radiation soap planet of Skaro during their war with the Thals, pursuing the Doctor across space and time. The Daleks later invaded the Earth, developed the reality bomb, and according to legend, even tried to imprison the Doctor in the Pandorica. I like how, in this legend, the Daleks have taken credit for that. Like, that was an alliance. That was Daleks, Cybermen, Jadoon, Sontarans, the Hoiks, of all things. And now it's like, yeah, you know, the Daleks tried to do this. I like that. History is written by the victors. So Time War Daleks. Nice. My Bronze Boys. Imperial Guard Dalek. Bronze Boys with a black head. Dalek Sec. Black Boy all over. Ironside. Um, not quite the right colour. But... You could have put a Union flag on, like, under his eye stock. Dalek Warrior. Uh, cool. The original Silver and Blue Boys. Um, Supreme Renegade. Cool. Black and white. That looks nice. Uh, and the Imperial. So we've got yellow and white. Those are cool. Nice. Whoever was able to like use these assets to create these Daleks. I, yeah, I like the colours. I think they look really cool. Appears in Time Lord Victorious. Ah, oh, okay. Here's some deep cuts. The Dalek Time Squad. So this is Ringo. This is Paul. This is George. This is John. This is Pete. And this is Hank. Hank is the sixth beetle who no one remembers. Time Commander, Strategist. I don't think that's how Strategist is spelled. Do you work here? Are you, are you just cleaning up the museum? The Dalek City from Serial... Season 1, Serial 1, An Unearthly Child. Mmm... Uh, well, actually, <laughs> I hope somebody got fired for that blunder. I guess technically they do land on the city at, in the last episode, but do, I don't think they see it until part one of the Daleks. After its devastation and irradiation during this war, Scarrow became uninhabitable to humanoids without regular anti-radioactive glove treatment. Drug treatment. The Pating, Series 11, Episode 5, The Saranga Conundrum. Right, I'm amazed that they spelt Saranga Conundrum right in the face of all of the other spelling mistakes that have been here. And according to a Time Lord 852, they've seen 11 different spelling mistakes. I'm glad you're keeping track. I'm, no I'm only noticing them as they go along. That's cute. Uh, I like the detail of the wires as well, as it's eat like it's eating its way through the museum itself. Uh, Weeping Angels. All right, folks, you keep an eye on them. While I read this, okay? We've got an agreement here, okay? Chat, me and you. Santarans, my boys. 
Um, maybe this guy does work here, or this girl, or this them, appears in Doctor the Time of the Doctor Christmas special. Out of, out of all of the Sontaran appearances that you could have had, you chose the two jokey Sontarans trying to get into the town of Christmas. Like, I would have accepted the two doctors. Oh, Cassandra O'Brien, Delta 17. Right, I've seen images of you online. Uh, people tearing you apart. Because you are clearly just... You've, they've thrown some planks of wood or some assets and just put emojis on them. But I respect you, Cassandra. I respect your look and the work that you do. Ah, the crack. Nice. And gas mask. Are you my mummy? These gas masks were used at the Earth Organization units during a Sontaran attack on Earth. Here's the cyber dudes. Let's have a look. Appears in Doc 2 the 50th. Mmm. Sussy. Like the dialects of the type I've known to have dog to the doctor through time and space that sounds naughty i think i've explored everything in this museum there was somebody in this chat earlier who was explaining what i had to do at this landing site so i had to dig up and find crystals and bring them to the tardis in which episode did the 13th doctor meet her newly redecorated tardis the ghost monument yeah oh yeah i got xp <laughs> I finally found a way to be good at the game by getting xp through doctor who quizzes i have to fish let's give it a go this is what I expected from my Doctor Who adventures. Charlie Peters, can I join? Uh, I'm in a public server. I, I don't know. This is my very first time playing Fortnite, so I don't know how to invite people. But if you stumble across me, feel free to say hi. This is how you fish. You go right next to them and you hit them. Legend of the Sea Devil spoiler. <laughs> yeah, this is it. It turns out it's actually a very clever reference. Jim the Fish. Uh, my Fortnite name is Trilby Reviews. T-R-I-L-B-E-E -E Reviews. You'll find me fishing. <laughs> Doctor Who and the Fishing of Doom. Uh, yeah, I'll accept that request. Go for it. Thank you, Ever Now. Thank you for those who are sending me friend requests on Fortnite. Oh, nice. Yeah, I did it. Okay. <laughs> oh, now that's, a, that's a weight off my mind. I finally did it. That looks promising. But I don't know how I'd get up there. Scramble 59 ca says, can I join? It's a it's a public server. It's a public one. I don't know which one I'm in. Friend request. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm making friends. Mom, I'm making friends online. Oh, deploy glider. What was that? I didn't know you could do that. Don't you dare start playing Gundam Style. I'm live streaming on YouTube. I'll get my channel taken down. <laughs> oh, Retrorinx, go to your settings, go to sounds, go to the bottom and turn off copyright music. Okay, you can tell that these folks have like done streaming. Excuse me. People are trying to go into the sounds menu. Licensed audio. Mute others. Oh, nice. Yeah, mute all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, um, Retrorinx, for pointing that out. Thank you. Okay, I feel... <laughs> I feel like I've got a little entourage around me, but the problem is, is that I've never played Fortnite, so I've got people around me, like, oh, Mr. Tardis, let's go around, and I don't know what I'm doing. This is how cults get started. That's why I was doing accept any friend requests on streaming. <laughs> I only have myself to blame. But thank you, thank you, thank you for for the support. This is not what I expected when I start. I didn't expect to start a mini Mr. Tardis Fortnite cult when I started this stream, but looking back, I honestly can't understand any other direction that this could have gone in. Let's just go on Battle on Gallifrey, because that just seems like basic, let's fight people. Play with party, private. What? If I play with party, is that this group? Folks, because I'm the one streaming and I'm the online Z-list internet celebrity, you have to let me win. They have to protect you from everyone else first. So yes, you must all walk around me like a human shield. I am the Genesis Arc and you are the Cult of Scarrow protecting me from, <laughs> from annihilation. Black Widow was having a moment. Black Widow is still having the moment. The British Tin Dog, she wasn't the same after a film bombed at the box office. Friend request. Yep, I'm just accepting all of these friend requests. A secret order. Above and beyond Mr. Tardis himself. Their job was to dance. Think as the enemy thinks. Even dare to have cake. 
<laughs> and I'm Capone. They even dare to DMCA their leader. <laughs> I've never played Fortnite before. You must all take it easy on me. Okay, so there's Bro Monkey. Zeppelin rules. Um, Harvey. Uh, Uriah 187 is best. We've got Retro Wings here. Ever now. Uh, that's just an arrow. I'm not seeing a name on top of this person who's ducking. Uh, Bro Monkey Boy. Oh, you brought me peaks. I'm out together. I've never... <laughs> Thank you, Bro Monkey Boy, by being my first joint emote. Thank you. You look a lot like Lara Croft. Was that deliberate or... Look at you, you're like rabbits! Ah, today this war will end. No more, no more. Do I not have a... Um, select loadout. Alien. Sideways. Com okay, let's go alien. Let's go. My first ever Fortnite game. Are you a baddie? No, you're goody. I hear bullets. Oh no, that's that's <laughs> that's Scarlett Johansson. No, no, you were meant to keep me safe. If they have an arrow above their head, they're on your side. Okay, thank you, thank you. Like I said, folks, I skipped the tutorial accidentally. If if our team loses, it's not because I'm bad. It's because you didn't protect me. No. Nope. I don't know what I just fired, but it looked really cool. Ah. I've, I've been playing so much of like Marvel's Avengers recently that I keep on like instinctively ducking uh, using that button. No. Yes. <laughs> Camping works. I think I killed three people. Tom Monty shoot at the baddies. The strat. To be fair, the strategy worked. Villain, <laughs> murderer. <laughs> Pop it, lock it, poker dot it. The thirteenth Doctor Simulator. No, if only there were all spiders. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of Marvel's Avengers recently. It's a game that is now impossible to platinum trophy because there's a glitch which prevents you from upgrading the gear the way the game, the way you could when the game was initially released. So it's impossible to now platinum. Uh, so I'm going to get everything except the that achievement and just call it a day there. This is all the macros creation. Yes, they did it. This time. Oh no! <laughs> okay, Th that was my fault. Do you play other shooting games because your aim is pretty good? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I play uh, other th third-person shooters are kind of my go-to. Like I said, I've been playing a lot of Marvel's Avengers, and my character of choice is Iron Man. That involves a lot of shooting. Ooh, Daleks. Behind you! Okay, I think I might have given away my position. Uh, I'm getting ganged up on. Ah, someone got me. All this violence and death, no more. One second. Um. N. Oh no, the bullets fade. I was going to try and write no more in the wall. Soldier, I'm going to need your gun. Then nothing happens. Yeah, oh, headshot. Take that, Harvey. Take that ever now. Ah. How does this fit into the Doctor Who canon then? My theory is that the Master is the person who's placed us all here to use this war, this battle royale, as an excuse to destroy Gallifrey, and that's how it happened at the beginning of Spyfall. Right, I swear, if I die again, I'm going to start dropping racial slurs, okay? Because this is a gamer stream now, right? Carlids! The skies are burnt orange, and the city was encased in a mighty glass dome, and then everyone started shooting! Oh, no. Did the game end? Defeat. Uh, round one of ten. Oh, boy. <laughs> Tom Monty, when you when you wrote in the chat, you lost with the exclamation point. For some reason, I imagined you as Roderick from Bad Wolf. Oh, <laughs> you lost. Oh, hello. So this is how the Time Lords got around Gallifrey. No. Nope. 
you take you see that ever now when you come at the king you don't so this is how the centenary will end yeah <laughs> uh uniqueness 35 how come you like mouse avengers no it's fun it's got a good gameplay loop i just wish that the levels that there were more level designs you are going through the same maps over and over again once you've there's a lot of like fun playable characters in there so once you've found a good niche for yourself it's really easy to get engaged in the gameplay loop um it's something i'm, I'm mainly just playing i didn't buy it i was bought for me as a gift um but I, i'm enjoying it I've not bought any microtransactions or stuff from it. It's not so, uh, something I'm wanting to support. But playing as Iron Man's a lot of fun. Um, I, I, and playing as Thor was a lot of fun as well. I keep pressing the wrong button to change the weapon. I'm so used to playing as Iron Man. I'm so sorry. Is there any way to get a sniper rifle? Also, I just realised maybe people watching this stream who are also here will be like, Oh, this is where Mr. Tardis is hiding. The MK is a good AI if you can deal with recall. Which, uh, which, um, loadout is that one? MK is in combat. MK7. Okay, let's give this a go. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Hannah, I'm in your game, I guess, killed you. Right, you're, you're next on the list. If you are enjoying, um, uh, the stream, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Doctor Who related content. And also, thank you to the Dark Prince for the £2 super chat. That Patreon is better than Super Chats. Thank you so much for Super Chatting to point that out. Yes, I do have a Patreon. My um, two videos uh, that you can get early current access to on Patreon are the documentary that I've done on how all of the Doctor actors were announced from William Hartnell up to Joe Martin uh, from live announcements such as Peter Capaldi to newspaper clippings such as John Pertwee and Tom Baker. We go through the history of all of the Doctor Who actors and how they were announced as the Doctor uh, initially, how the news broke. And we've also got my review of The Evil of the Daleks, which is dropping on YouTube next week. But uh, patrons uh, have had early access to it for about two months now. Haha, <laughs> take that, bro. I'm, I'm amazed I was able to do the Patreon per plug and kill somebody. Yeah, ha, nice. Whoever hit them with the um, melee weapon at the same time. Nice, good teamwork. Do you know what works? Teamwork. Oh, I think I, I think you got them as well. Nice, thank you. Mick is getting better already. Thank you. Yeah, this assault rifle seems more like my speed. Ah. Victory! 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 Today this war will end. No more. No more. Protect this. Protect the citadel. I almost ran out without a loadout. <laughs> that was me who won. Thank you, WNG fan. We're doing. We're doing good work. That looks like a lot. Nice. I got you both. Thank you, Hannibal. I like how I kill you and then you report back to the chat to compliment me. Thank you. Uh, elimination streak three. Oh, if I can get two more, I get a perk. Chat, let me kill you. That was the op... No, folks. We need a game plan. I'm going to hide. And I'm going to... No, I'm, I'm live streaming. I can't hide. Everyone's going to know where I am because they're watching. The opposing team, who I think are watching this stream, I would like you to all stay still and let me kill five of you in a row so I can get my XP boost. This, no, listen, that's, this is not opposite day. How are you sliding around? Thank you for staying still, I was not hitting you. <laughs> Did you actually let me? Oh no, I can't have pity points, but thank you. I got the elimination streak of five. <laughs> Makes us what a kind fandom. Yeah, the Doctor Who fandom's the best fandom. Nope, I see you, Scarlet. Black Widow was average at best. The barn from Day of the Doctor's looking a little worse for wear. Oh, is that what it's meant to be? That's a big barn. Not a classic Battle Royale game. We'll keep on playing the Doctor Who stuff just for now. We broke game. We did. We were too good. The Fortnite mods were like, oh, we've... <laughs> Folks, we've noticed a cult developing in the Doctor Who land, in the Doctor Who portal. We must put an end to this. Uh, oh, it says game full. 
has my stream caused this to become too full now? Is that what we can do now? Matchmaking. Folks, join me. 11 more players. You can join me. Finding match. This feels a lot like, um... <laughs> where, um, where the 10th Doctor and Donna in The Stolen Earth just like waiting in the TARDIS for the phone call. I'm not fussed about the crystals. We're playing Kablam. We're gonna play some Kablam, everybody. Play with party. Stop hitting- stop hitting me! Um, yeah, we're gonna play some Kablam. I changed my skin to Subang because I thought it would be funnier. Oh, there's Iron Man here as well. Uh, I'm just the default one. Madness. What have I wrought? Sorry, the 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 brand of Doctor Who. Hey, Trevor Wrigley, Superman doing the Gandam style dance in front of the Kablam Man while Iron Man watches watches on. We've reached the singularity, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. This is what human civilization was aspiring to. As Toby said at the beginning of the stream, Sidney Newman and Verity Lambert would be looking at this and be so proud of what their baby has become. Look <laughs> at Superman dancing around me. What has this become? By the way, on if uh, unless more Doctor Who stuff gets added in the coming days and weeks, this will likely be the only time I ever play Fortnite in my life. But I would like to thank all of you, all of them, for being a, a hoot, basically. I appreciate all of this. Thank you. Was it? And so it came to pass that the players took their final places, making ready the events that were to come. A madman sat in his empire of dust and ashes, little knowing of the glory he would achieve. <laughs> Thank you, Ozzy. Thank you for the end of time reference. We're here. We're in Kablam. Live your best life. Cool. That is a creepy poster. Very good. I like that. Now, I love the setting of Kablam, conceptually. I just wish it was a better episode. <laughs> Particularly that third act. Oh my goodness, that third act. So how, where do we go? What, what, how do we play the box game? Play, oh, okay, play with others. Oh no, okay, it's doing it, starting game. The name's end, that's what am I watching? You're watching somebody have no idea what Fortnite is. What, mass delivery, oh, hello. Destination coordinates are locked. Box up, what? I have never played Fortnite. I don't know what this is. Box up. What? Fight. Oh, okay, we're fighting. What? Can't we just settle this over a pint? Get ready to learn how to build. I don't know how to build. How do you build? Box of what? I want my shotgun back. Oh, you think just because I'm the YouTuber, you're allowed to, you're allowed to gang up on me? Play with Smash. The fandom nowadays have to solve everything with abuse. You know what? Now that there's, honestly, we know that there's a lot of terrible Doctor Who discussion that goes on on Twitter. Okay, terrible takes abound. Terrible opinions out there in the open. I think now instead of just hashing it out on Twitter with terrible opinions, we just box match on Fortnite, and whoever wins has the best opinion. Tony Parker. Uh, Tony, hello. Uh, imagine the wars we could avoid by having nations fight online. Oh, yeah. It's to put, it's the best way forward for diplomacy. It's a really nerd wrote it furiously studies on Fortnite tactics. Yes, my ideas and opinions are so bad, I have to rely on the Fortnite procedure. Okay, so I can box up. So I use circle. I can build something. I don't know what I'm building. Ah, uh, no. I'm in, a, I'm in a wooden box of emotion. Oh, 
Ah! What are you doing in here? This is my house! Now, folks, I want you to know that that strategy was very underhanded, and I'm glad that they got shot. Oscar, you need to build upwards. <laughs> why did my, why did I flash back to the Simpsons, like when they're digging in, in that hole? No, no, dig up, stupid. We're gonna find out who's gonna win against Superman and Black Widow. It's Superman! Is this what Rassilon felt like watching the Death Zone? <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, so we saw the chain of command there. Black Widow, Superman, Alien. How do I build up and shoot and win at the same time? No way. Is it just me and like one other person? I, I've not built a single thing. <laughs> this is... So it's been an honor to be shot by you, thank you. <laughs> it was an honor to shoot you. Okay. Come on, where do I go? So where do I go? It's the alien! Storm Eve shrinking, what does that do? Sorry, I tried to use the shotgun, it didn't work. No way! Come on! Come on! No! I didn't build anything! And I nearly got there! I came second?! Folks, this stream is now proof that meritocracies do not exist. <laughs> Polly the 11th, uh, sometimes it's better to not aim, you can easily shoot. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think that's a habit thing again. Because once again, I've been playing Marvel's Avengers fight the past two months. When you um, are playing as Iron Man, you can't use your ranged weapons without equipping and aiming them first. So that's why I'm aiming all the time, uh, as opposed to uh, like free shooting. Once again, it's, uh, it's the muscle memory. Here we go, Kablam Factory! I do like how we are fighting in a giant box, being overseen by our Lord and Savior, the Kablam Man. Look at that. I would like to see him and Cyber Chad, like in a face to face like confrontation, kaiju style. Jeremy Duncan, thank you for joining. Uh, Miss Tyler's playing Fortnite. Am I missing something? Uh, no, it's the new Fortnite, Fortnite thing. Oh, one second. Oh, okay. Box up. What? What's up? Whoa, whoa. No, what? Is this right? Have I broken to the game? Oh no, new round will begin shortly. Okay. What happened? Was I just not in the map? Did, did something glitch out? Game bugged. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm glad that was... <laughs> I'm glad that it wasn't just me going mad. Which I really vortex manipulates and nasty stuff. <laughs> nasty way to go. It would have been a very different ending to the 11th hour. Like, oh, any way you want, Amy. Any time you want. One condition, it has to be amazing. Oh, okay, let's go and bug out in the Fortnite Kablam Lobby. Uh, heaven sent, but Kabaldi's confession dial is the Kablam Lobby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm in the lobby again. Okay, well, I'm not locked in here with you, folks. You're locked in here with me! I always knew that this was where I would die. In the Kablam factory. I don't know why. You can even ask my wife and she'll be like, yeah, it's true. He did want to say that. How many seconds in eternity? Julius Caesar. Your party is too large to play unvaulted. Oh, my cult's gotten too big. My cult's too powerful. While we laugh and, com and maybe have some tongue-in-cheek complaining about Doctor Who and Fortnite, what is this? I do think it does say a lot about Doctor Who's status as a franchise right now. You get a lot of people saying no one cares about Doctor Who anymore, no one watches, the show is dying and stuff. But it still clearly has a big enough of a, of a profile to have some sort of a collaboration in the biggest free-to-play game 
centered around a younger audience on the planet right now, like with Fortnite. Like where we are alongside like Marvel, DC, Naruto randomly as well, uh, and loads of other franchises, and Star Wars, which has had full-on crossovers with Fortnite. Like this isn't an official Epic Games true from the ground up collaboration with the bbc or anything but the fact that this is still a thing that is part of fortnite and part of this epic games empire i think that says a quite a like good amount of stuff for the show like somebody says like you're comparing it to funko pops or something and i wouldn't go that far because it's like funko pops is like ubiquitous they will take any potential franchise for example you get jupiter ascending funko pops which are like they're giving them away for free because there's so many of them that were made and that film did not do well. But like, there's a difference between something like Funko Pops, which will take absolutely everything, and something like Fortnite, which will... I'm sure if the price is right at all, they'll, they'll collaborate. But also, they'll only really want the bigger, more legitimate names, like Doctor Who, Marvel, Rick and Morty. I'm seeing rick on the on the top right of my screen poking out from the naruto sign so i think this is generally just a good thing like in terms of doctor who itself and that you also get companies like you know time fracture like worlds apart which is a, an nft card game so of course make what you will of that but companies do want the doctor who license they do still see it as something worth looking at and promoting and collaborating with and the fact that this Fortnite collaboration has so much stuff from the current era. Like, I thought it would have just been 10th Doctor stuff and that might have been it. But no, we've got the Pating. We've got Kablam. We've got a museum which is celebrating a lot of the current era as well. I think that's really cool that they are actually looking at... Um, that they're actually looking at the current era as opposed to just picking and choosing when the show was at its most popular. It's Winnie... Oh, no, that's Theo. Uh, H.R. Wrigley. That is Theo up there. He normally doesn't, he does, he's normally not up there that often. Anyway, right, game starts, and we're going to the Pating. Right, Pating. Okay, the fact that all of you went over to the Pating shows that you are all watching, and I appreciate all of you, okay? What's amazing is that there's like 10 of you, and there's 50-ish people watching, so a fifth of the people watching this live stream are in the game with me. <laughs> Scrambled uh, says, what I find funny is for EVE Online, the Doctor community loved the collab while the EVE community hated it. I didn't pay any attention to any of the discussions around that. I saw the trailer for it. What, what was the EVE community's problem with it? Was it just like, oh, the casuals and the normies and all oh, Doctor Who's here? Oh, women space pilots. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm not going to ascribe that to the EVE community. I don't know anything about them. But like, yeah, if you're able to illuminate me, Scrambled59, let me know what, uh, what's going on. Okay, so this is the Saranga spaceship. Pating has destroyed life pod. Find all 10 mechanical parts to repair the life pod and escape. Pating is still loose on the ship. If he breaks any vital systems, you need to stop them. Okay. Um, if you're new to Fortnite, yes. Um, easy. Thank you. Okay, let's... Uh, go on, team. There we go. Pating, let's have a look. Monstrous trait. Fatally violent. Fact of ours all known organic material. First appearance. The syringe conundrum. The syringe! Vicious claws and toxic skin. We couldn't end this stream without another uh, typo, could we? I love that this crossover was clearly created by a Series 11 fan, the greatest of all time series. Oh yeah, the Series 11. This is, yeah, definitely there's a bigger emphasis on Series 11. Up we go! Nope. Thank you, whoever's actually playing the game and is finding the mechanical parts. How is Doctor Who Fortnite? It's all right. Why can't I reach? Is my why is my jump so weak? Come on, go 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 go! Oh, why can't I make it? I'm glad someone's Pating sabotaged the oxygen system. Restore oxygen in four minutes. Okay, let's go. Ship explosion in three minutes. Okay, how do we save it? Crisis averted. Well done, team. A 2D side scroller starring the Morbius Doctors. I'd like the idea that um, maybe a side scroller where you start off playing as William Hartnell, and every time you die, you uh, respawn as the next incarnation, but you, you're permanently stuck there. Uh, like you can't regenerate back. 
Drop into the space, find the mechanical part, okay? Oh, look! We found a pile of Bolstrex opinions! Oh, there's more! Oh, hello, Dalek. Um, the, these mechanical parts, were they flash? Is there something to look out for? So, roguelike with their technically lives. Yeah, yeah, and uh, maybe as the game further goes along, because um, the Doctor, for many regenerations, got younger and younger, like more spry and athletic, um, the further along, the more regenerations in the game you go through, the easier the game is, but you get less points or something. So there could be like a whole speedrunning community being like, oh, what do we do with Hartnell? Like, beat the game as Hartnell and you get like an achievement or something. Uh, also, I'm I'm amazed I did that. Um, fly out and find the missing mechanical part. Well, where's our fizzy lifting drinks? How do you fly out of here? I, am I stuck here? Oh, blimey. Wow. Oh, whoa. Sorry, whoa, whoa. This is cool. We're flying? Mechanical part collected. Is that it? The thing sabotaged the antimatter engine. Folks, I hope you're on that, because I'm flying right now. Crisis averted. Thank you to whoever did that. Um, we found four pieces. We've got six more to find. We're in the map room now. Opposite there is the control room. So where do we need next? Life pod. Let's look for ventilation blockage. Honestly, oh, oh, here we go. No wonder the, the ventilation's not working. There's canine and a chicken coop in here. The worst part is, is that I could be exploring these vents and someone in this group in this party has already found the piece. And I just don't know. So now I'm just hunting for something that's already been collected. Um, ventilation? No, we didn't get the ventilation blockage. We didn't. The part's still in there. So we didn't get the ventilation blockage. Communications and nanite containment. Okay, so 077009009061. Is there like an enter button? We did it, yes. Yeah, nanite containment. We just need to find those three pieces. And then we've got it. Is there anything on the map which might tell us where they are? Oh, yeah, nanite location. Oh, cool. They're on the map. Folks, there's one in this room. Apparently. Okay, whoever might have one needs to go to the nanite room and uh, deposit them. Go to the containers and empty. I don't have it. I don't have them. I don't have anything to empty. It's got to be one of the other players. Hmm. Okay. We might have to, uh, we might have to call time on this. Hey, just, it's honestly been, been rare tonight. It's rare that I'm able to join another Doctor Who fans to play Doctor Who theme game. Yeah, it doesn't come around too often, does it? Yeah, it's, it's not that often we've got the opportunity to do something like this, which is why it's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it. I think I was doing much better at the traditional fight on Gallifrey than anything else. So if I'm going to play at any point during the week, I'll be coming back onto that. But no, it's been fun. Yeah, Winnie's enjoyed it too, clearly. Yeah, right, I'm calling it. Uh, good, good effort. We won in spirit. Thank you, Superman. We did win in spirit. And that's literally the same as winning normally. Wait. Oh, no. What? No. Let's get back. Yeah, we. I don't know what happened. Someone <laughs> dropped off the path. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. I was so taken aback by that. Just as I was in the menu, about to quit, someone drops off the parts. Come on, everyone. Let's escape the pating. Very good. Now what? Um, I don't have any pieces. Watch the <laughs> the drama. Watch the ending. I, I'm, I'm waiting for it. There's no other players around. Where are... Oh, Louis. Do, do you have anything? Please place it. I've tried. They need to drop the parts. Come on, everyone. Go to the thing. How do you place a... Do you have any? I don't have any. I've, I've never had any. And I'm pressing... 
mechanical items, missing parts, cannot do that now. Because I, I don't have any. Someone must have them. Someone does. Come on. Please tell me it's not someone who left the game. It's time to accept defeat. No, this is accepting victory, just not officially. Okay? We did it. We got the pieces. We got to the live pod. The ship survived. We've won. Let's call it. So yeah, that was fun. We played throughout the game modes. I think it was uh, just basically the standard battle royale or the standard fight on Gallifrey that I was best at. But thank you to everybody this evening who joined. Thank you for everyone to watch for watching, and also especially thanks to everybody who took part and actually uh, taught, walked me through the game and helped out. Scam fifty nine. Maybe the real Doctor Who Fortnite collab was the friends we made along the way. That's a very nice note to end on.